just started our next two day sail to Lisboa or Lisbon as people might know it um, so a couple of nights it's meant to have um, well meant to have some nice strong winds I'm Nikki and this is my gorgeous family Chris Bo Bear and our salty sea dog <laughs> Come we're in. sailing around the world on pickle an old catamaran we bought and did up <laughs> after my major life-changing moment when I caught meningitis. Subscribe and enjoy the ride. We're going, are we? I want as well. Oh my god. Oh my god. Tenders ripped a bottle and we were trying to turn it over and I pushed it and then I slipped down back stair. And he twisted his ankle, so he's got his ankle. So he's just put an ice pack in his sock, look. Hopefully it will help with the swelling. It's very warm this morning. Very warm. Two, three, yeah. Four, five, right. There we go. Do you want to see where we've come from, where we're going? Oh. This is where we've come from. I've just put autopilot on. Look at that. Beautiful little anchorages along there, look. And we went to Limens. Which is absolutely beautiful. Sad to leave. And there we go, we go out past some of the rears. Beautiful little islands and anchorages out there. Past Biona, down the Portuguese coast. And hopefully, pick up some wind. Woo, for the wind. Let's do a wind dance. when I'm too hot oh, because I'm too bloody hot are you too hot yeah I'm so you're boiling isn't it I've had enough yes. can't stand it stand in the helm so topless no, oh, I don't care yeah. no one can see me where it's see. <laughs> Look at this jellyfish! <laughs> I've my new earring in. I see you're a little pirate to her. Don't knock me off. That's a big one. Let's go explore! That night we go for a stroll with Boza and explore the pretty little harbour and the next day we went venture out to explore Kashkas. Kashkas derives from the word Kaskal which means shell. It's known as the town of the kings and fishes. In the 19th century the Portuguese nobility took favour with the beautiful little fishing town when King Louis I in 1870 made it his seaside residence every September which I think established quite a summer community. When we went exploring we found it has grand mansions, fascinating museums and attractive parks. Their views are to die for and it has beautiful golden sandy beaches. The shops are very accessible and they've got a super big supermarket there which was really handy. We did a big stock up there for pretty much every food you can imagine. It has great transport links and if you want to visit Sintra or Lisbon or the airport, that's really easy facilitated. Troubles! Smile! Spin! Spin! <laughs> spin! Spin! You got in that of it, spin it round, it's on full It's a very beautiful carousel. Isn't it? Someone's got a doggy there, look. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's spinning now. Spin, 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 spin. Spin, spin. Watch out for monkeys at lions behind you. He's gonna make himself feel so sick. <laughs> oh, spinning around and spinning around. He's such an idiot. <laughs> oh, there he's on. A bit dizzy. dizzy. <laughs> I say either. I don't, I'm actually terrible pronunciation, but you guys get the idea. We're having so much fun. There's loads of kids up there. Look on the key. Oh, key jumping. I haven't done that for a while, but then loads of fun. I'm just sat here looking out to see. Look at this beautiful behind me. Look at the building. We was actually just going to the town museum. We had an amazing uh, lunch at a beautiful vegan restaurant, which I didn't even know was here. We just found it. The wonderful Google. Kids have been playing, they've been buying trinkets, little shells and stuff. There they are, sat on the steps behind me in the shade, calling down bears as red as a strawberry. Well, I was eating strawberries, maybe that's why he's a bit hot. I'll get him some water. It's just such a beautiful day, it's 30 degrees, it's hot, it's warm. Bankridge is quite busy, but it's not too busy. We're going into the marina tomorrow. We're actually going in time after 12 tonight, so we might go in tonight, it might be easier. Going in, I get the laundry done, gonna go on the train. Pop into Lisbon every day there, Lisboa. Get on that tram. The kids want to do the whole tram thing, jumping on and off, seeing some sights. That'd be good fun. Yeah, as long as I get my laundry done, I don't care really. I've got to get that laundry done. I'm just sick of having not freshly pressed bed sheets. <laughs> I think people maybe don't realise when you live on a boat how little you get to wash your bed sheets and clothing. It's just so crap, unless you do it all by hand all the time, which isn't the same, is it? I want that fresh smell. Laundry fresh now, I can't wait. Get all the laundry, got bags of it, so that's going to be a big job. I'll do that maybe Saturday before we go because I'm going to be out by job two. So, yeah, that's us for the next few days. I try and take lots of pictures, show you the beautiful place. Oh, kids just jumped off the pier. I might just get blown up with my lovely dress. Lovely until it gets blown up and driving me nuts. I have to hide it down constantly. Oh, and Bear wants to go on this over there. You see that over there? It's like a water, bouncy. Adventure Park. I have to take him over there, might I? I'll just be a terrible mother of a didn't. We'll have to go look. Yeah. I can hear him. I can hear your footsteps. I recognise those footsteps anywhere. How are you, Strawberry? All right. Oh, let me show I'm you okay, Cherry. Let me show you my shell. You're not quite as red, Bo. Come here. Come here. You want to show me your shells? Yeah. Okay. No, you stay down not on that wall. It's dangerous. I have like a hat, though. Yeah, you can sit on that. He has a hat. He's not wearing a hat. He's not wearing his hat, no, he's not, is he? Put your hat off, well, it was in the shade, wasn't it? <laughs> no, don't show guys your shells. Show, show him the shell. Okay, I'll show mine then. Okay. I, both my shells are Oh my here. gosh, guys, my shells I'm going to show, show you my favourite. Can you see yourself in the camera? No. Don't let them look. Giant cowie. Giant cowie. I want as well. Oh, wow, let me just, let me just show them that. It's so beautiful. So it's only two euros. I don't think that's a good thing. I mean, we're vegan and we try to be as vegan as possible. And then... We're not, we're definitely not but brilliant. But these are so guys. I know. Are, are these taking these from the ocean? Are they taking them and then they go along and find them? Or is there some sort of like killing involved? It does concern me with these shells. Oh, Mum, I wish I had a bought them. No, no, don't say that. I will look into it. We won't buy any more on time. Looked into that. I haven't really thought about look. that for now. But anyway, look, this couple look, of this is on the it. precious wall. Oh, Bo's got that. I have loads of loads of shells in this. And is that a real starfish? And has that been killed? Yeah, I was wondering that. Oh, is that that's something they found. That's, that's another thing that's concerning. Or is that just a fake starfish that's been made You're in a mug, like probably clay or something yeah, coloured? Uh, I don't know. Show goes your ring you bought because it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Is it crystal? That's actually meant to be. Well, it's a, type of tool. it's a very old uh, shell. It's a particular shell that grows. And it's actually meant to be quite lucky, I think, for sailors or water or the water signs or something. I mean, I'm a Pisces, I don't know. And, and Pretty this cool, one, isn't it? Scorpion. I love it. And this Ooh. is what, guys, I'm a scorpion and I love scorpions, so that's probably why. Look. 
<laughs> this is the favourite shell. My and there's a Leo. He's definitely a big, noisy, loud, dirty lion. Look at your top. We've been out of two minutes. Oh Look, my. chocolate. Chocolate. That's been top. out when I got it's it nice. out. That. Do you know? I remember when I was oh, little. Oh, we let, all got. Let him listen to. The, what is it called? Where's the, sign where's the speakers? Yeah. Let me listen. Oh. Where's the speakers? Oh, yes, I'll be able to hear the sea. But if you put it to your ear, you can explain to me what you can hear. I can hear the sea. You can hear the sea. That's amazing. Do you know what it is? Actually, let me try. Let me see if I can hear the sea. Okay. Can I tell you the science uh, of that? Not okay. to bore you or anything. Oh my god, that is. I can yeah, hear the sea. You only tell them the science. The science is you can hear your. I want to speak to the sea. I'm going to speak. Near your own bloodstream. It goes through your ear and it echoes back, so you can hear your own bloodstream. Bo, you are so clever. That's what you get for being homeschooled. Yes, Daddy. Hello. Well, it's just it's common sense, hot. really. It's a bit hot. It. Daddy. Right then. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. In a while, crocodile. Join us next week when we relocate into the marina and our whole windows actually pop right off, which is ridiculously scary. We go also go exploring into Lisbon, the capital of Portugal, Please remember to press that bell button and subscribe to get notified when our next episode's out. Press the like button down below. We're on Facebook and Instagram. And if you like our episodes and you want to support our work, we are trying very hard, then you can find the link for Patreon down below in our description. And we really appreciate it. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you next time.